Hello everybody, it's Erin, and first off, I'd like to apologize if you hear my neighbors upstairs. Um, there's literally no reason for me to wait until they're quiet because they never are. So, <laughs> just be aware of that. Um, also, Happy New Year. Hi. Uh, it's, I think that's it. This is everything I colored in December, which isn't that much, but here we are. It's not going to take very long, I guess. Short video. Those are good, right? Um, in no particular order, because I forgot the order, is uh, this picture of Chibis from the book called Animania like anime but mania in one and um this was done during a live stream actually two because I don't usually go back and do stuff but uh, I had a lot of work to do and it was one of those ones where I totally planned to do something completely else but the uh the chat has a mind of its own well many many minds because there are several people there so <laughs> they uh they picked this picture and uh I, I tried to do a to do a poll, but that didn't work. But then we came up with colors, and uh, uh, yes, it's a weird picture, okay? It's a weird picture. It's a weird book. And I'm good with it, because it's got food, and it's got cute chibis, and yeah, so it's a fun design. This is mostly Copic marker, a little bit of gel pen. I'm not sure how much that shine is going to come through, but on the top of the bottles and the labels, does uh, does a little bit of a glittery shine there. I didn't add too much pencil detail, because I didn't want to. I didn't feel like this needed a whole ton of extra stuff and then I just added some paint for the top of background and that was about it so the next one that we finished almost on stream like we finished most of this and then I did this on my own because paint takes a while and I like to not do it on stream so I uh, this is from Disney's uh, well it's Hatchet Heroes their book called Hiver which I mainly I believe means winter in French not I speak English, okay? Don't quote me. Um, <laughs> but I think it means winter. Uh, so, yeah, we've got our Donald Duck cooking for his two sled dogs. And, um, yeah, it, you really can't have a stove inside of an igloo. That doesn't work very well. So, yeah. Uh, this is actually colored in on the book page, which usually I reprint stuff. But my printer didn't want to work. So this is the actual book page. And it worked okay. I just, the blending would have been nicer if it were on Copic paper. It would have been less of a struggle. It wasn't like a monumental struggle, but it would have been less of one is the point. So there's that. Uh, I also used polychromos pencils, but only a little bit. I think I have like a tiny bit of fur. There's really, it's mostly Copic. Maybe it's December and I got lazy. I don't know, but a lot of the details were just like, ah, it's fine. I like it. It's fine. It's fine. So I just kind of stopped. <laughs> this is from the book called Christmas Charm by Teresa Goodridge for Coloring Heaven. Creative Haven, sorry. I get them mixed up because it's like the same thing, but not. Uh, this was a gift for me by one of my viewers. Uh, her name is Reno, or Savvy. Technically Reno Savvy, but we're good with it. It's fine. She, she knows who she is. She, I, I said it when I got the book. <laughs> Apparently today is a rambling day. Um, so the funny thing is that I did a picture in the last year's Christmas book, and I did the same color scheme, and I also did a snowman that was colored almost exactly like this. I apparently really like this color scheme of yellow and red and black, which is ironic because I do not like the color red. It's just, I use it because it makes color sense, but I don't actually like it. So it's really funny that that's what I keep picking for these kind of, it just says country to me because it's such a classic combination, I think. And um, I did add a little bit of gel pen, so on the, uh, it's all shiny. Uh, so on the signs and stuff, I had a gel pen on there. It doesn't like make that big of a difference, but it, it just adds a little bit in real life. I also splattered with not only regular gel pen, but I used um, Distress Oxide Spray. Splattered that on there, and I used, uh, what do you call it? Dina Wakeley's uh, Gloss Spray. So that's the white. The white paint is Gloss Spray, and then you can see like this gray kind of dots and stuff, that's the Distress Oxides. And uh, you'll see more in the next picture, which is from Cute and Creepy. This one is really easy to finish actually in a stream. Well, technically the streams are four hours, so I guess that's not exactly fast, but I talk a lot, so there's that. Uh, but we finished, uh, we finished this one on stream. This one took a lot longer because I did mixed media in the background, so the, the ink I did the ink blending of the oxides and then I added water so you can see the water droplets there. That's pretty fun. And then we've got the the gloss spray in blue and white and I used brown and pumice stone of the oxide spray. So it sort of looks white, but not really. 
Like, not really in real life. It looks very gray and brown. So that's, that's fun. The only thing is the brown did go through a little bit because I let it just get too wet. But again, this background is going to get colored too, so it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, and for the for our little monster guy, I used um, water-based pens. Uh, these ones are the Arteza water-based ones. They're not the brush ones because I don't like those, but yeah. Uh, and I just blended those on a piece of plastic so that they were really light. And then I used some uh, white gel pen. And I think Posca too. I don't actually like Poscas, but if I needed a, a bigger nib like that, that's usually what I use. So yeah, when I splattered him, I made sure that it stayed off of his face, but it did get on like his arms and stuff because I didn't want it obscuring his face. So yeah, this was easy to finish in just one stream, which worked out well. And I didn't really add much pencil to that either. So the other thing is I had two works in progress, which I apparently did not get out. Um, this one I did on my own, just on my own time, and I thought I could finish it because there's really not a whole lot to it, but I guess not. So I, uh, I started this one, and this is done with ink tents so far, and then you can see the barest amount of details that I got to. I really wasn't going to add a lot. Like, the dog is mostly done, like his face, and there's practically nothing on it, right? So I, I really wanted it to be very minimalistic and just going with most of the ink tents, just adding a little bit of pencil shading, but I just didn't get a chance to finish it. I was so busy this month. At least that's what it seems like. And then we started this one on a stream. I did two streams and it still was not enough time. So it was like four, four, six hours on stream and then Lord knows how much on my own time. But it's going to need a lot more is the point. So this is as far as I got. <laughs> so yeah, there's two streams of that. But, uh, but yeah, this is as far as I got because it is really small details. And so if you're using a big marker, you got to go slower. And I'm slow in general, so that's very slow. And again, I stuck with the gold and white and, uh, or yellow and white and red kind of theming, I guess, for the colors. So there, there's mostly a lot of that. And it makes the green pop, which is fun. But yeah, it's nowhere near done is the problem. So hopefully this month I'll finish that. But yeah, so I got four things done in December. That's not too bad. I got 68 things finished. If you want to watch that video, it, I don't know how to link iCards or anything, so just watch it. Uh, <laughs> it's on the channel and it's right before this. So yeah, I got 68 things done in, in 2020, which is not bad. So hopefully I'll beat that in 2021. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Still, still photos are after this. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't, and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.